So hello everyone, I'm Rafael from Numbugs Project, and today we're going to see a challenge about wrappers. So I'm going to just share my screen here. So um, basically we have a list, <coughs> adding some elements, and then declaring some variables here. And then we're using uh, the remove if method with some conditions here. And then I want to know what will be the final result from the list. So now I'm going to give you a time and then um, you give me the answer. Okay. So let's see the answer. Yes, let's see. Yeah, congrats, guys. Uh, you got it right. Um, so um, it's 12 and 128. So let's see why it's this answer. So this one is a bit tricky because wrappers in Java have some uh, really um, specific rules. So for example, um, the integer wrapper class uh, creates um, cache. Uh, it's uh, minus 128 to 127. So this number is outside of the cache. So what happens here? So when we use the equals equals, we are comparing the object reference instead of the value. So here, the e variable um, would uh, would um, it can be twelve, but. Um, um, when we use the new here, we are forcing a new object. So even even still, uh, if it is 12, uh, it will be a different object. Because when we use the, the new um, reserved word, we are forcing another uh, object in the memory heap. So this one would be false, always. So this element would be here all the time. But uh, when we create a, um, a variable here, um, with, uh, I mean, declaring here, for example, 14, remember that I told you that um, we, have, um, we have a cache. I can show you. There is a method here. Um, there's a method value of um, uh, the cache is defined here. So yeah, low is 128, yeah. And the uh, high is 127. So when we declare a variable between this range of minus 127 to, oh, I think, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, minus 128 to 127, um, it's, it's going to be inside the cache, inside the pool. So um, here, another, uh, another object won't be created. So this presto age variable will be the same here. So when the number here is 14, it will be equal because the objects, they are simply equal. But here in Dungeon master age, um, so we, we saw that the, the last number of the cache is 127. But uh, 128 is out of the cache. So here, uh, a pool, um, a cache won't be created. So the objects are different here. So um, this one will be, um, yeah, will, will be false as well. So the, the second one and the first one will be false. This one will be true. And this one will be 
true as well because it's equals. Equals always compares the value. So, yeah. You can see that on the integer wrapper class, it's uh, the equals method is overridden and it basically gets the, the value here and compares the value. So it doesn't compare the instance, the object reference. So that's it, uh, basically. Do you have any questions? No, no question. But uh, in fact, this is a, a tricky behave, behavior. And uh, it's very good to be aware of the uh, catch, cache. Because uh, uh, look at the first, at the the first site, it is, seems to be a, a totally different result. But uh, it's a, it's a it's a great point to have the uh, to be aware of that 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 cache and how it work and can change the expected result. Great point. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So the highlights here. Uh, important thing to remember is that when we use the new reserved word, we are creating forcing a new object creation in the uh, memory heap. Another thing is the cache on wrappers. So this was created to have more performance because uh, we are more likely to create numbers between this range. So we can have uh, uh, an, a better performance with this cache. So just be careful because 128 is out of the cache. So another, a new object here will be created. So um, this will be different. So E is a different object from Dungeon Master Age. And Presto Age, as we are using 14, it's inside the cache, then uh, it will be uh, equals. It's the same object. It will be pointing to the same object. So it's basically, it's a bit similar to string. But uh, we just have to be careful in, in the range. Okay, no. so that's it. That's it for today. Uh, Can I just... ask you a question, Rafael? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, so this this remove if method uh, is it is it only for uh, Java eleven? Because I'm seeing that your JDK is set to eleven uh, in your. No, no, it's for Java eight. Oh, it's it's for Java eight. I see. Okay. Yeah, we can see here on since 1.8. Oh, oh, OK. okay. So the, the cache, uh, another question. Uh, the cache, uh, maybe the cache always existed on, on Java? or you yeah, yeah, always existed. When the wrappers were created, they always uh, they yeah. always been there. All, all right. And that's a, a small dub that I had here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, guys. So, a great. Okay, guys. So, if. Um, oh, let me do it again. Okay, guys. So, this was the Java challenge of today. So, I presented the challenge about uh, wrappers and about cache. It's important to know the, these small details because uh, a bug can be hidden on these concepts. So if you like the video, give a like and uh, get subscribed because it will help me out to create more videos. And uh, if you want to know more, you go to nobugsperger.com. There's a section there called um, Java Dev Gym. And then you can um, just uh, do your challenge and learn by practicing. So see you next week.